Front row MMA here at Bama 14 with Andy Craven after his, I think, about a minute and 34 second heel hook victory. Seconds. Thank you. I, m m my question coming in was, is, was that the game plan to look for the quick submission or did the opportunity just present itself? Yeah, the opportunity just presented itself. Um, I'm, I'm not that much of a firm believer in, in strict game plans because um, a fight is obviously very individual each time. So. You don't want to go in with something that's too scripted because otherwise if it doesn't go the way you think it's going to, you're going to be shocked and it can throw your game off. So I went in very open-minded, it happened to be there, I saw the opportunity and I took it. How did you prepare for, for, for Zaishar? Because, you know, he's a, he's a dangerous guy, well-rounded, comes out of a good camp. What did, you, did you do anything differently to prepare for this fight? No, I didn't do anything really differently. Um, I mean, when I'm preparing for each fight, I'm always looking to develop all aspects of my game. And I was continuing to do that running up to this fight, and you know, I wanted to be a better striker and a better grappler and a better wrestler. That's it. What's the future? You know, as you said, you're unscathed. You look like you could go five rounds in a minute if you needed to. How much time are you going to take over the holidays, and when can we expect to see you get back in the cage? Um, it's a case of um, getting the right match um, on the right show and, and my development between now and then. Obviously, each time you step in the cage, there needs to be a, a noted uh, amount of, of improvement. So I'll make sure that before I get in there, we're looking better and the, and the match is right. I'm not going to ask you to call anybody out because I think that's rude, but what type of opponent would you like to test yourself? Is there, is there one or two people out there whose skill set is really an attractive opponent for you? Um, to be honest, I can't say that there's any names in particular. Um, obviously, as, a, as an upcoming pro fighter, um, I'd like to be sort of seeing myself in the in the rankings in the UK rankings so um, anyone who I need to fight to get in to get into those rankings who I'm after but no one in, no one in particular and can we expect to see on them again we know that there's going to be a lot of consistency with their cards next year yeah sure I mean this is a fantastic show it's my, my Bama debut and I couldn't be more impressed with with the show um, I'm very very proud to be here and very very grateful that they've had me so I'd like to be here again but it's all match permitting Look, before we let you go, because I know there's colleagues who want to speak to you, before we do, is there anyone you'd like to say thank you to or any sponsors you'd like to give a shout out yeah, to? Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to thank uh, um, all my friends, um, my team that have supported me and my sponsors. Um, here on my shirt, Must Factory, supporting me with all my uh, nutrition and everything like that. All my sponsors, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. A pleasure to watch you work. We look forward to seeing you do it again. Thank you. Thank you.